Some of you are in the darkest of darkest valleys. I don't know what you're going through, but I know what you need. Hope. And I want you to know that beautiful things can come from your broken pieces when you give your broken pieces a chance. It is okay to be scared. It is okay to cry. But giving up is not. But I just want you to know that it's not the end. It matters how you're going to finish. I don't care how dark it looks for you. I don't care what they just said to you. I don't care what the verdict is. I don't care what the haters say. It ain't over. No matter what happens to you, it ain't over. Ain't no such a thing as over. Do you know, man, that you can actually mess your life completely up? You can jack it all the way up and you can turn around and get it right. Do you know that you can be divorced multiple times and still be okay? Do you understand that you cannot have a degree and still be just fine? Now, whatever you've been through, whatever that is, guess what? You're still here. You have a great life in front of you. But your great life is in front of you. It's not behind you. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. You just got to quit tripping while you're in the process. Because the process is necessary. You may not see it now, but when he gets you on the other side of it, you're going to see exactly why it went that way. And you're going to be okay with it. Pull yourself together and quit tripping because you're in the process. God is processing you. He ain't through with you. If he was through with you, you would not wake up in the morning. When you feel like giving up, don't. When you're thinking about giving up, don't. When it look like you ain't going to make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, come on, man, who are they? When they tell you to put all your stuff back on your desk, don't do that, man. Don't do that. When they tell you you're not going to make it, don't believe them, man. Don't believe them. You got to be relentless. And I'm saying to you, what if all of us took that attitude after we face a rejection and a no or we have a meeting and no one shows up or somebody say, you can count on me and they don't come through. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. The harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. See, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's, it's just something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. And people know that you know what life is, that you have embraced life. You knew it was hard, but you did it hard.